My name is Drew Williams. I'm a Vice President and General Manager for uh, MCOR. Uh, I've been involved with Cameron Brooks for about 16 years now. Um, the first time I encountered uh, Cameron Brooks was really as a candidate. Um, I was deciding to make the transition out of the Marine Corps. Um, knew I really didn't want to deploy as much as I was deploying and missed many, many times with my kids and knew that it was time to make a, to make a change. Um, it was kind of scary at the time, but I met with Cameron Brooks and knew from the start that they were the right company for me. Um, they were they introduced me to companies that I would have never had the opportunity of meeting on my own and got me in the door to have the meetings that I would need to have to, to secure the career that I wanted to have. Um, it was one of the smartest decisions I made. As far as coming back and recruiting from Cameron Brooks, uh, I think it's one of the most important things that I do. Um, I want to build a good team. I need to attract leaders to that team. I've tried recruiting from other uh, JMO recruiters, and I find that when I come to Cameron Brooks, I spend two days and I sit down with 18 quality individuals, of which I could see myself hiring somewhere between nine and 12 of them. If I go to one of the other JMO recruiters, I find myself sitting down with, again, 18 to 20 candidates and walking away uh, with one that might fit the, high, fit the job and maybe one other, but it's just a much better use of my time. We have lots of challenges in corporate America, no different than junior military officers experience in the military on a daily basis. We don't have all the people that we need to solve those problems. I'm looking for people that can come in and make an immediate impact. And by that I mean take charge of a program, they, don't, they need minimal direction, I'm steering them versus motivating them. There's a requirement to work on my team and you gotta have heart. You can call it passion, you can call it heart, whatever you wanna call that. And if I have that, and I find that a lot in Cameron Brooks candidates, we can do a lot of great things together. The goal is to take care of the customer and improve the process at the same time. I can talk to a couple of examples. Uh, in just in the last couple of years, where we brought on a JMO, we actually put him on an account that was struggling. It's one of our larger accounts. We'd had the account for about eight years. And to be honest, had we not put this individual on the account, I'm pretty sure we would have lost the client. Uh, within about a year, we were receiving additional revenue from that customer, and within about 18 months, we signed a new 10-year agreement. And the customer actually called and told me, listen, had you not put, I won't mention their name, on the account, you wouldn't have the account. Um, so this individual came in, took charge of it, looked to see what the issues were, and he fixed them. What we do is not hard, but it's not easy. And it really is about attention to detail. And again, I'll go back to the heart piece of it. Most JMOs have heart. And at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. Uh, my requirements for being on our team is very simple. You need to have passion. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, uh, if I have to rank it between attitude and aptitude, I'm gonna slip to attitude 99 times out of 100. Um, at the end of the day, if you have the right attitude, I can teach you what we do. Like I said, what we do is not hard. It's not complicated. It's not easy, but most of the people I interview here, I know when they step foot in the room that they have the ability to do the job. I'm spending the 45 minutes that I have with them working on the fit and finish piece. Will they fit with the team that I've got now? Will they fit with me? Will they fit with the leadership style that we've developed? That to me is much more important than what's on their resume, and I can tell you, we spend very little time talking about what's on their resume. We spend a lot more time talking about them as an individual, what they like, what they don't like, what their leadership style is, and it's completely conversational. I know when they walk in the door that Cameron Brooks knows they can do the job. I'm looking if they can fit with the team.